One of the most significant aspects of public organ prolapse that gets little press time is impact to intimacy. Hi, I'm Sherry Palm, the founder and CEO of APOPS, the Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support. And I'd like to talk to you today about impact to intimacy. Women that are navigating pelvic organ prolapse, whether they know they have it or not, often experience some pretty significant symptoms related to intimacy. Women that have pain with intimacy often find that their partners don't believe them. Women that have urinary and fecal leakage have extreme difficulty not navigating the bedroom. Women that have tried to explain to their partners what's going on, they can't find the words. It's difficult to talk to your husbands and, and significant others about this. It's difficult to talk to your physicians about this. One of the most valuable things that we can do at APOPS is shift recognition of the reality of impact to intimacy. I truly feel that all the cards should be on the table and there's no aspect of pelvic organ prolapse that we don't talk about. We should be talking about all of them. When women experience incontinence during the act of intimacy, it's called coital incontinence, whether it's urinary or fecal incontinence, it's a huge mood breaker. Needless to say, it creates a much deeper wave in the lives of women than the actual intimacy act itself. Often communications just stop between partners. Attempts at intimacy just stop between partners. So what starts off as an act of intimacy gone south turns into a negative result in the relationship. Communications can stop and marriages and relationships start to fall apart. By creating some common awareness of all of the layers of pelvic organ prolapse, and in this case, the impact to intimacy, we are helping women not only recognize that this is a health concern to be addressed, we also may give them tools to navigate through their relationships and create that dialogue that's so difficult to start. We have an article posted on the website, and there's a link to it on the home page of our website. It's called Just for Men. And I highly recommend that those of you who are experiencing these kinds of impact to your intimate life, read that article, and then refer your husband or significant other to that article as well. It may help you open up the dialogue.